So this is a quick demonstration on what to expect with a mongoose firing system. This demonstration is going to use a mongoose with two FW32 firing modules. Today, we're also going to use our hand transmitter, which serves as a dead man switch, or uh, in some cases, you can manually fire with it. So to begin, you just simply insert the mill spec connector into the top and screw it on. The power switch for the mongoose is on the side next to the uh, antenna. Power it on. The very first screen is going to ask for a password. So you simply enter your customer password. Once it is correctly added, it'll end up uh, turning on the computer inside the mongoose and it'll be ready to transmit. This is an FW32. The power switch is located on the top next to the antenna. To power it on, you just simply turn the switch on. The cue selections that you, where you enter your E-matches or your squib rounds are here. You will have uh, four sets of common and uh, 1 through 32 cues on either side. The long CN36 Centronics connector is used to attach a external slat, which makes setting up much easier. And the bottom 9-pin connector is used to insert your uh, safety key. All you have to do is insert the safety key in and uh, this system now is able to be armed. Without this in place, you won't be able to arm the FW32. So we'll power both on. The first thing we're gonna do after you enter your password is you're going to test the network for all potential firing systems that are actually powered on. So another thing I want to show you is the LCD screen will turn off after approximately 30 seconds. To wake it up, you just hit, hit this uh, lit green LED button in the center here, and it turns the, the, um, the menu screen back on. So in order to test the network, all you do is press test and go. Right now, it's sending its signal out, and they're communicating back and forth, and it just detected two of the fire modules. At this point, you're able to actually individually go into each fire module, and you'll see a lit arrow pointing down. All you do is select which module you want to look at closer, and you hit Go. So it's already on 001 module, and we're going to hit Go. Right there, it reads you the serial number, its power state, how good the uh, wireless um, signal is, how reliable that signal is, and it also tell you whether or not there's cues connected or not. And then you can do the same thing. You can test two. So you're going to go with test two. Now it's going to read FW32 um, address two. Again, it's exactly the same information. So now we're going to go ahead and let's, let's assume that you want to fire a pyromusical on these. Well, to do that, all you're going to have to do is press mod, go, and then press sequence. Now, de determining on um, what of these lit buttons you're going to push is where you saved the sequence to. Normally, for uh, most, in, most uh, um, shooters, you're going to save the sequence to the first um, channel, which is channel one. When you are ready to fire the, uh, the pyromusical, you simply push the dead man switch, and you'll notice on these, you'll see the arm green light come on. When I release, the arm light goes off. So in order to actually fire volts through this 
to have the battery connect up to the firing circuits, you have to have the dead man switch pushed. So we have the green light lit, indicating that this is armed and this is armed. Also, in order to fire, you have to have the arming keys in. So in order to fire now, you simply press whatever sequence you want to fire, and we'll start with one. As soon as I press this, the show will start. And right there, the uh, system is now active, and it's actually firing whatever cues that you had saved. If I were to release this, the show would pause because no volts are going through the circuits. To restart the show, simply press again and is able to fire its cues. Now let's reset. To reset, all you do is power off and power back on again. When you power off the mongoose, you're going to have to re-enter your passcode. When correct, it does its self-routine all over again. Now let's manually fire cues. Okay, so this step, you uh, are assuming that these are com completely hooked up to all your images or squib rounds, and you want to manually fire module one, cues one through 32. So to do that, you're going to just use this transmitter here. It's set for incremental. All you have to do is press Q, and you'll see these are all the potential cues that you can shoot from. And when I every time I push the button, that cue fires and you can see the green lights go showing now you want to go to two all you have to do is go to mod two it detects two it's saying that it's armed it's ready to go we're gonna press Q it now turns on your cue firing circuit. Again, every time I push the button, you can see the cues firing through. And again, on the uh, mongoose, you can see the backlit buttons turning their light off as they've been fired. Okay, so let's talk about um, the actual uh, continuity checks um, with either e-matches or squib rounds. Um, depending on, you know, what um, initiator you use, it's the exact same principle. Uh, you got two ways to do it. The first is on board. So you simply power it on, and it, the very first thing it does is it does a, um, a safe continuity. And you'll see... Uh, it's got the very first two lights come on. That's showing your um, E-match is connected. And the second light shows all four. That's the actual, um, this is the actual um, sequence that you have programmed in the FW32. So it's showing that it's got two E-matches in Qs one and two. The second way you can uh, determine uh, continuity is through the Mongoose transmitter. So in order to test it, you're gonna to go to mod one. The system is disarmed. You're gonna to go to Q and you're gonna see two little lights, um, yellow, light up here and you can tell that they're, they're um, orange. Get right over it so you can see it's orange. Now, if I were to arm this, 
and then hit mod one, they turn to green. Green indicates it's armed and matches are connected. Yellow indicates matches are connected, but it's disarmed. And no lights indicate nothing is connected. So we'll disarm this. Press Q again. And they've gone back to yellow.